Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats. We're doing 20 different programs in 2020. Each one has 20 parts and this one is an applique series. We're doing um, a series of appliques of in the playroom, so there's lots of fun things going on. There's 20 in the series and we're up to number 15 this time. So we're doing amazingly well. We've got teddies and tractors and pull along elephants and all sorts of things. And today, with our applique number 15, we've got a bunny rabbit, um, probably a soft toy type bunny. And so there's a pattern available if you're interested on gourmetquilter.com for in the playroom. And if you're receiving the pattern, it's going to be one each day for 20 days and we're up to day 15. And you would receive something to download and print that looks a lot like this. It's going to have all the shapes ready for you to trace for the applique. So I'm doing fused raw edge applique. I've already fused and cut out my shapes. I've started positioning them, but I haven't finished yet. Um, so we need to, to get this little bunny is wearing a dress. It's obviously a little girl. And so we need to pop her little clothes on so that she's feeling more comfortable. And it's a little pocket on her little dress there and a little collar. So cute, this little bunny. I had a soft toy donkey. I didn't have a bunny. So now there's a little arm here that's kind of up, possibly waving to us. I reckon it's waving. Now there's a couple of markings as well. On the, on the bunny there's a little couple of divisions where there might be a couple of stitches uh, to indicate the sort of paw. And on the feet here, there's a separation line as well. So I'm just going to pencil that in so that I don't forget to stitch it when I do the stitching. And I've penciled in some little marks for the hand there. And there's another arm to go on here. And this one just comes down, sitting down here. Comes right up to that collar there. Oh, she is looking cute. And there's a, a separate little ear in here, and I've already positioned it, but I'm just going to pencil next to it just to help define it so that when I come to stitch it, I can see where I'm going because it's the same fabric. So I think that bunny is looking quite cute. I need to get it ironed in place now. Just sitting around that bunny. Um, so I'll get everything ironed, and then I'm going to go to the sewing machine, and I'm going to applique stitch it. So I'm using... Uh, free motion stitching for the applique and because I'm doing free motion I need to have a stabilizer behind it so I've just got some lightweight cotton batting that I'm using as the stabilizer and I just like to iron it so that it sits together nicely and we can get rid of this iron for the moment and I'm going to go to the sewing machine so the, the nose and the eye are also applique I had already positioned those so I'm just thinking I might come up and do around this um, arm here and the little hand stitching and then come up there. So I might just start over here on this arm. So I'm just doing a straight stitch but free motion, just on the applique but close to the edge. And then when I get to something like this little division here, I'm just going to stitch in and come back out again on the same line of stitching. It's really, this little rabbit is not that hard to do. I think... Uh, Pretty straightforward in fact. So we've got this little collar here. And then I can go straight on to the head up here. Now I've already marked the mouth with a permanent pen, but I could just go over it with the stitching as well, I think. I'm going to go around the nose, just go past it and then back onto the nose and then come back up on the outside of the nose again. The eye will have to be done as a separate one. Now I'm going 
just going to get up and do these ears. And then it's going to all be plain sailing from there. So now I've done that ear and I could stop and start there, but I think what I'm going to do is skip on to the other ear and just come down and come back up again. And continue on around then. So I think that's all pretty self-explanatory now, so I'm going to keep going and I will come back to you when I get to the other end. I'm just on the last bit now. I've done all the stitching. This bunny is looking good. So let's see where I'm going here. So I've drawn a line here that I'm stitching on to help show where the legs are. Is our bunny done? So I'll just give, give her a quick little press. So on the pattern there was a couple of marks that indicated that there's some little gathers in her dress so I've stitched those as well. Other than that it's all looking pretty good and that bunny wants to go into that playroom. So we'll pop her up here. Oh, look, she's having a little chat to the doll. So cute. So, that was applique number 15 of their 20 for In the Playroom. So, I will see you again with applique number 16.